am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Switch. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' yeah. I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it, yeah, they love it Winning, get buckets on the first in and the last out, see me coming First take, I'm hotter than hot Hotter than some boiling water, I bubble the pot Team full of ballers, baby, we winning a lot I'm like Curry with the rock when I get to my spot I'm tapping in, I'm passionate This is what passion is This here, nah, this is no accident From the start to the finish, I'm cashing in I am number one, not number two if I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Switch. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin' Welcome, everyone, to the house that Rockney built Notre Dame Stadium, underneath the watchful eye of Touchdown Jesus the home of the Fighting Irish. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from Conference USA, the Liberty Flames, taking on the ninth-ranked team in the land, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Everything in pre-snap is telling you the ball's going to the strong side. But now they run it back a week, and they're pulling offensive linemen. This defense better be ready, because this won't be the last time today. They... Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. He's going for a big play downfield. When lighting the teeth of this noise. Dropping back, it's Bradford. And they jump on top. How about the start from this offense? What a drive. Just when they needed a third down conversion, they got it. They put a bunch of plays together, kind of wore the defense out, and in the end, punched it in for six. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Throws to the wide out. It's complete. Oh, and the defense in chase mode, and they finally get him down at the 35. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. He tries to take the top off, and he makes the catch inside the 20. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Third and short in college football today, you see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. they got that three in their back pocket. football with the run. What a good run. And he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. On third and long, he has to throw for it. He's going to fire deep. And now to run on that play at all. About all you can say is do better. But that's the problem. Are they able to do better? And that's why you keep trying things, right? <laughs> Kevin, they tackle him at the 19. In these situations, third and eternity, I, I know exactly what to do. I'm putting more DBs on the field. I know it's a pass. My best pass defenses, and then I turn my pass rushes loose. Go get that QB. They'll leave it with him. Got enough for the first down. At the 20, he's got space. And after gobbling up some serious yardage and showing off those wheels, he's finally out of bounds. Man, I'll tell you.
tell you, you just can't quantify how much this guy has meant to his offense running the football. Leads the nation in rushing yards. He's the guy with the target on his back. Every time they take the field, the defense knows who they have to stop. And still, this guy turns out big run. If you go to that locker room with a lead, they have a chance to do it here. They'll run it on first and goal. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, fighting out. That's exactly what you want from your offense. Man. Eight and a half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground. Take the lead going into the half. Take all the momentum. Nice execution of the drive by that offense. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. At the 35, he's open. And they Use the play fake. Now to throw. Fires to the wide out. Makes the ground spot before the break. It's good. seconds and not allow them to answer from a couple of yards deep he'll bring it out he'll be brought down and that's the final play of the half we've played two quarters here time to go to kevin connors in our halftime update all right guys looks like we've got a great one in south bend going on and i get it a lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays but if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. With that said, let's state two, just proving to the other team that they're more physical, they're winning in the trenches. So here in the second half, David. On the nasty move, and now he's got room. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Yeah, defensive. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense, you have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep... And he breaks into the open. The tag. Touchdown, Eric. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. This coaching staff was trying to identify Playmakers on offense really this year. How about the start of the season this guy has had? Scored in their first game. He scored early in this one. Defenses up to this point don't have any answers for this guy. zone one more time after that last drive and once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit you get in a little bit of rhythm it's really hard to stop catch inside the 30 and still running no oh, i thought he was taking that all the way but they stop him at the seven that's a beautiful pass and catch i love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes he froze that safety and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route Quarterback, quick pass to the receiver. Touchdown, Notre Dame! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. And you're really starting to see the chemistry that this guy is developing with his quarterback. They hooked up for a touchdown in the first game. They do it again here. These two are on the same page. Pre snap motion in the backfield. Dropping back, it's Bradford. He's got his man. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chains. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. But they can't do anything about it if you got dudes up front winning one on one. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And that pass picked off. 
takes it the other way. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Man, that is how you get it done as a defense when you're playing cover one. Like, you got the middle of the field safety, but everybody else is manning up. Nice job running with this guy, seeing the football, breaking on it, making the interception, making the big play for this defense. You're trying to stop the best athletes in the world from getting to your quarterback. They're going to get there. They're pinning their ears back. Get to the QB. Get the sack. Working on the right. And he's brought down, but a flag is also down. Defensive line does their jobs. He comes in the hole and says, sit down, sir. Pulls it in. It's Johnston. Now the play fake. Looking deep. A sensational grab down the field there as they try to at least put a positive spin on the end of this game. Touchdown, Liberty! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. Great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt. First half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak. It looked like it was ugly. But now you're starting to get it turned around. That more drives like this is what's needed. They're going to test the right side with this one. Got the first down and more. And excellent vision. On third and long, trying to have a big completion. He'll take a shot. And they can't. It's a nice game, but I don't know if it's worth the seconds they're losing on the game clock. In this type of situation, you've got to be throwing at... And the pass hits! Picked off! And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. The holder will kneel down at the 29, making it a 39-yard attempt. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And now the lead is even bigger. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Terrific showdown this week, guys. Let's take a look at what's going on. Boston College is in danger of getting demolished today. And while this is only one game, I think anyone who... Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Snagged in the middle. It's Johnston. And a pickup of better will have it first and ten. He's going to pass. The short hand hits Vaughn. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Wants to throw on first down. And this sophomore in for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Looking for the end zone. Can't complete the... To the ground. He's got it again. And the final play is just a short gain, and we're at the end of the game. Guys, this is a really good win for this ball club as they put together consecutive victories. And in this season, that's what you got to do. You got to put together good weeks, build on each other, build that momentum, continue to grow as the season goes along. Yeah, David, it's all about building confidence, and it's really important for these players to go out, work hard in practice, and see that hard work really pay itself off on game day. This is a team that's really starting to believe in itself. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.